Welcome to Donegal. I've come over here for a bit of a workout. My plan is to walk from Muckish through to Errigal in the Derry Bay Mountains. Um, I drove up from Dublin earlier. It took me about, took, actually took about four and a half hours. Uh, just traffic and roadworks um, extended the journey a little bit. Anyway, um, took a little bit of logistical planning for this trip because again because I'm crossing down through a mountain range I'm not doing a looped walk and I'm doing it alone so I parked my car at the end point at the base of Errigal and then I hitched and I got a lift from a lovely couple called Pauline and Nigel and their son Keen and they went out of their way <laughs> and brought me in the direction of Falcara. Um, they took pity on me, I think, <laughs> knowing that I was going to have to walk so much. Anyway, uh, it was really, really kind of them. And I got out of the car. It's marked on the map at Fiddler's Bridge. And then I'm walking in towards Muckish now along this track. It's about four and a half, five kilometers into the base of Muckish. Um, so I'm gonna, my plan is to camp up on top of Muckish tonight and just take my time getting up there and hopefully throughout this entire crossing just, just take my time, use the camera as I wish and uh, enjoy it and as, I, as I've been walking along this path I can see the range of the seven mountains that I'll be crossing or is it eight actually? Um, so the reality of what I'm facing into is hitting me. Uh, that's all I've got to do for a couple of days. Walk, take my time, stay safe, eat nice food and play with the camera for a little bit. Beautiful weather so I took some time off work and uh, I've wanted to do this trip with the camera for a long time. So I felt ready and just wanted to do it now. So hopefully it'll be a good one. Gained a good bit of height, but the real fun starts here now. It's quite a scramble in places up Muckish. Thank you. 
Well, I made it to the top of Muckish. It's quite bouldery up here, as you can see. But there's a green patch over here that I spotted when I came to the top of the mountain, which I'd seen before and thought that would be a nice place to camp. So I'm going to try and pitch my tent. Uh, the sun is going to be setting in front of me and I'm just going to put on some dinner. There's some mist or some cloud beginning to roll over the mountain here, which is really nice. For this route, I use two different Ordnance Survey maps. This is OSI map number two. And yesterday I started walking from around this point, which is marked as Fiddler's Bridge on uh, map number one <laughs> over here. And then I came along this track here and I eventually met the path to make my way up Muckish. And I'm camped at around this point here now. And my plan this morning will be to move across the plateau of Muckish, come down Muckish, meet this road here, and then cross over and make my way up to Crocknalariga here. And then I'm going to pass a couple of lakes. And the aim will be to make my way up to Aglabyug. And then over to Ordlock Nabrak Badi. Ordlock Nabrak Badi. Uh, so that should probably take me the morning and into the early afternoon. And then I'll be moving on to uh, a different map. So just to show you the route that I did yesterday and this morning.
So day two walking has begun and I've got a great view of the mountains that I'll be climbing today and tomorrow morning ahead of me and it's pretty humbling when I see the scale of them in front of me. But uh, what a day, there's just wonderful visibility. Fabulous. I'm down off Muckish again. That was a steep descent. I found a stream to get some water, filled a bottle and put an electrolyte in because it'll be a while before I see water again. A little mishap. It's not all sunrises and sunsets. I've called in the heavies. I'm on the custard creams. I'm just sitting down at Lochalurg or Lochanlurg, and Agla Beg is in front of me. So I'm having a little bit of refueling, a cup of tea and some biscuits, and I had some noodles as well. Um, still really hot, but. Uh, it's lovely. And my wet leggings are all dry again. I've made it to the top of Aglabeg and there's a fantastic view here of all the prominent mountains and the route that I'm doing. So I'm going to try and point them out to you. So we've got Muckish, Crocknalariga and Aglabeg, Ordlock Nebrakbadi and that's Loch Nebrakbadi. Then we've Aglamore, 
then Mokokte, and then the last one is Erigal. So I can now see why this route is often called the Seven Sisters. Those seven mountains are really prominent. There are other tops, uh, but those seven are really prominent. Um, a fantastic route and what fantastic visibility I have. Just coming down now from Ord Loch na Brackpaddy and I just realised that the lake I called out when I was on top of Agla Beg, I said it was Loch na Brackpaddy, but it wasn't. Because uh, I realised now that I couldn't actually see that from the top of Agla Beg. Um, so there is Loch na Brackpaddy and that one, the bigger one over there is Loch Fien. So that's the one I could see from Agla Beg. There's Aglamore, the final mountain to be climbed today. I'm almost down at Loch Alton where I'm going to camp tonight, hopefully minus the midges. Um, I'm just looking back up at Aglamore there and I just can't believe I've just come out down from that. Um, I'm not a natural at this <laughs> and please remind me not to take on uh, another challenge like this. Um, yeah, this is one that was just uh, in the back of my mind, or to the forefront of my mind even, for uh, probably the last year. Um, and like I said, I, I, I'm not a natural at this. It, it does take effort. And um, imagine I took days off work for this. <laughs> oh, I know I will. I am appreciating it. It's, it is absolutely stunning. Um, but it's it's hard work for someone like me. I've moved on to the next map now. Having come down from Ordlochna Brackbaddy, I came down towards the Loch Fion and then came alongside Loch Fion and then up to Aglamore and then came back down Aglamore over in this direction and over to Altan Loch, which is where I'm camped right now. So the plan for this morning is to go up on Behi, excuse my pronunciation, um, and then the next climb is up Mok Okta, 
for We Erigal or Little Erigal and then back down Makukta and then I'm going to come around and climb Erigal from its north face. So it's a much steeper climb and then come back down the more traditional route down Erigal and back down and my car is parked down here. Wish me luck. For breakfast this morning I have some porridge with some fruit and nuts and seeds and some almond butter and a bit of honey just to help me get up Errigal. I've reached the summit of Mokukta, so just one more left. Erigal behind me there. And I have a, a great view here of all the mountains that I've crossed to get to here. Um, I'd point them out, but I can't see on the screen, so I just know my finger's going to be all over the place and not matching up to the locations. Um, very, very happy to be here. When I was walking over and as the cloud began to lift and I could see Mokokta and Erigal, I just felt like this is my Everest <laughs> for these couple of days. It's been brilliant. two hands and two feet for this climb so I can't really capture the experience unfortunately. Never before have I been so happy to see a hole in a piece of rock. This is known as the window.
come down the other side of Errigal. This side is positively pedestrian compared to the north side. Um, I'm almost back at the car now and that was just a wonderful three days. I know I moaned <laughs> when I was really tired yesterday evening. Um, it was just wonderful and I'm so grateful that my uh, work colleagues facilitated me to just uh, leave at short notice. I'd actually planned to do this. The weather was looking good last weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I was going to do it then and then the weather changed and I just did not want to bring the camera with me when it would be completely overcast. And as luck would have it, uh, the good weather just con continued out to this week and I went for it and I'm so glad I've scratched that itch and have a video now to remember the experience. It was wonderful. Hope you enjoyed it.